Hey everyone, in today's video, I'll be showing you how to convert JSON data to Python objects. So I have this JSON data here, and I just generated it using this tool here, uh, jsongenerator.com. So I'll put this in the description below if you wanna use it yourself. But this is basically what it looks like when it's been generated. So what I want to do is I want to create a Python class that has all this information, and I want to be able to take this data here, this JSON data, and then convert it to a Python object. So I'll need to create a class for that first. So let me start off by importing JSON because that's really the only import that we need. And I'll create a class. So this is like user data. So what I'll do is I'll create a class called user and I need to create a dunder init for this user so I can have a way to create a new user. So this is going to be a dunder init, it's like that. And then I can pass in all the things uh, directly. I would do it here to be explicit in what needs to be passed. So I start with self followed by uh, GUID and let's see, is active. And we have a name. So I'm using the keys that are on the outermost level of the object. So keys that are inside, I'll show you how to handle those in a moment, but I'm just handling these keys. So GUID is active, name, email, phone, and address. So name, email, phone, and address just like that and then what i want to do is you know i'll prepare the self.guid equals guid and then it will be similar for the rest but i'll come back to that a little bit later because it's a little repetitive and i'll talk about what needs to be done for the name field when i do come back so what i want to do is i want to create a method in my class that can take in some json data and convert it to this object so what i can do is i can create a method called say from JSON. And what I can do is I can pass in the JSON data. So it's normally a string that gets passed in. So JSON and then let's say string. And then what I want to do is I simply want to uh, generate a dictionary out of the string. So I can do that using the JSON.loads function. So JSON is what I import it, dot loads. So this takes a string and it converts it to Python data structures, so like lists and dictionaries. So if I take the JSON string and pass it to JSON.loads, it takes a string of JSON and converts it to Python dictionaries and lists. And then I can just call this like um, JSON dictionary, and I can return a new instance of the class. So I can do this in a couple of ways. I can make this a static method. So I have like static method here, and I can return user and then I can pass in everything from that dictionary and it will use its keys as parameters. So the keys would be GUID is active name and so on. And the parameters here would match. So GUID is active name. But I can also make this a class method and just use the class like this. So I use CLS or class. And I change this to a class method. So what happens when this is a class method is every time this from JSON is called, it passes the class along with it. So then I can use CLS here to instantiate the JSON object. So let's move on to writing just a representation of this uh, user class. So for a user object, just so we can see what's going on when I eventually print things to the console. I'm going to create a representation function just so we can see what happens. So I can return something like uh, user and then I want the information to be let's say the first name so I don't have the first name yet but I'll use an f string and say self dot first name and then I'll just put a closing caret there and then make that an f string so when we look at this we're going to see the first name of the user so now let me go ahead and do the rest of the value so self dot is active equals is active a self dot name uh, I'll get back to that in just a moment. A uh, self.email equals email. A uh, self.phone equals phone. And self.address equals address. So let me move that over. So with self.name, since it's not like the other fields where they just have like one value, name is actually going to be a dictionary. And then in the dictionary, I can get the first name and the last name. So what I can do is I can have something like this. So first name equals name first name because it's a dictionary and then the last name will be similar so last name was name last name okay so now i have all this set up so let's go ahead and actually try to use this so i'll go 
down here underneath the class. And what I can do is I can just um, bring in some data. So I'll just copy like the first object here and I'll put it in a string. So um, let's call this JSON string and this needs to be single quotes. And I'll just put it like that. Actually, I'll use triple quotes like that. And then what I can do is I can create a user object based off of this string. So all I need to do is call user dot from JSON and I pass in the JSON string. And then I can print. So let's say user equals user and then print user just like that. So now let me start up the terminal. And I will simply run this script. So Python a script dot pi. And we see there's a key error. So this is a minor error because I put first underscore name when it should just be first and last. So now let's try that again. So we see user is read. And if we look at the JSON object that we have, the name is read. So if I change the representation to use the last name, then we'll see Warren instead, which we do. So I'll put this back to uh, first name. And then what I'll do is I will just print out some of the other fields. So let's say like user address, uh, user dot uh, email, and user dot phone. So if we print this out, uh, we see the information here. So we've successfully converted from the JSON object to a Python object. So what if we wanted to take all the JSON in the file and convert it to multiple user objects? So what I can do is I can I can open the file and then loop over each one of the individual JSON objects that gets created. So each of the individual dictionaries that gets created out of the uh, big JSON object, which is a list. So what I can do is use like with open and then data.json and I'll read this and I'll just call this a JSON file. And then what I can do is I can say um, uh, user data equals json.loads. So we won't be using the loads in here because this is for a single user. Here I'm loading all the users, so loads, and then I'll take that JSON file and then read it in. Next, what I can do is I can loop over each individual one. So for you in user data, what I can do is I can, let's have a list. So uh, users list can be empty. And I'll just append each uh, user. So users list append. And I want to create a class off of that individual user. So I can call the user class that I have and then just use the two stars and pass you just like that. So it's very similar to uh, this approach here, except this is inside of a loop. And then at the end, I can print my users list. So let's give that a shot now. And we see here at the bottom, we have this list of multiple users, Reed, Amelia, Shari, Lindsay. And if we look here, we have Reed, Amelia, Shari, and Lindsay. So as you can see, it's pretty straightforward to convert the data from a JSON object to a Python object. So this can be used in apps that deal with databases, so using things like SQL Alchemy or any other ORMs, or it can just have a special use case in your particular app. But uh, this is the most generic way of doing it. So if you have any questions about what I've done in this video, you can leave a comment now below. And if you want to get the code in this video and the JSON object, you can go to the link in the description below and it will take you to get those two files. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please subscribe. So thank you for watching and I will talk to you next time.